In this video I'm going to be using the aux IO function to get the sound out of Pro Tools recorded into QuickTime. It's a great way of using this feature if you're trying to do screen capture and record the sound that's coming out of Pro Tools. You can use the same method to route the sound out of Pro Tools in any other software. We go to Setup IO, you press that aux IO button. I'm going to select one stereo pair of outputs by clicking this. You can rename it to make it easier to remember where you are trying to get the signal to. I'm going to name it QT for QuickTime. Press OK. And so now in the output page of your IO setup, you have this new QuickTime columns that appeared. So we have to assign this new output to a path. We'll create one new stereo path. We're going to label it QT. You can leave the add default channel assignment selected. So now to show you how to send it to QuickTime, in our example, I'm going to create a click track. I would create a send. For the send's output, we would select QT. You turn the fader up and I would set it pre-fader. Now the next step is in QuickTime, you do new screen recording and for the audio, you would select that Pro Tools audio bridge A that we just set up in the aux IO. And now the sound of that channel is gonna get to your QuickTime recording. Now, if you wanted to use a microphone that you're recording in Pro Tools and send that to QuickTime, you would create an audio track. You can copy that send that we just created. The input of your new track, you would set it to whatever microphone you want to use you could set the channel to input or you could record it and press record when you're doing it if you don't have a dedicated microphone you could use your Mac or your computer's microphone instead to do that you can go back to the IO setup and the aux IO you would select the Mac microphone like this as an input 